It's one dish. One dish. Okay, are you blind or just like legally retarded? There's one dish in that sink that I put there. Really, Ben? And you happen to be quite the dish Nazi, I might add. When did you, everything is like, this is not clean enough, there's so much as on this. Don't do that, stop doing that. For sure, stop doing that. It's super offensive, because I come from a long line of Holocaust survivors. How could there be a long line of Holocaust survivors? There's only one or two generations that were in the Holocaust. You're gonna tell me that there's one dish in this sink? you call me legally retarded before? It's so insensitive. It's so insensitive, okay? I'm not doing that. Can you imagine if my aunt was here? For someone that has claimed to be offended by conversation recently, Grow the word retarded is so offensive. You. Yeah, there are more, again, there's more than the one dish up. this time. But like, you did say seriously? retarded, and that is so hard to How hear. How many years, Ben? Particularly How in the last years? 10, no. have people really oh started to take How offense to that word. How many years have I been asking you to do the fucking dishes, and it just still has to be this, like, cat and mouse well, thing? Well, how many years have I been asking you to do the a blowjob every once in a while. I can't remember oh, the last time. Would it kill you? Okay, how about this? I've got a solution. I'll do the dishes and you can go suck your own dick. Fuck you. Seriously. Fuck me? Just fuck you. Fuck you. It's so... Fuck, fuck you. you. Fuck 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 you. Oh shit, I gotta call my mom. No. I have to call her back. I won't. She's I, called I me three times this week. I have not called her back. I gotta call her back. I'll do anything. Back. Tell me. Tell me. Blow job. Hang up. Blow job. I swear to you. Don't blow job right now. Don't fuck right now. Hello. Right. Hi, mom. Hi, sweetie. How are you? I'm good. I'm driving. Sherry Orlovsky's son was driving, holding his cell phone. Got hit by a bus. He's paralyzed from the waist down. He shits in a bag. I, I don't know who Sherry Orlovsky is. I don't know why this is like. <sighs> What's going on? She's in my book club. Are, are you with Anna? Yes. No, no. I mean, I'm spiritually always with Anna, but no, I'm not with Anna. Okay, because if she's not good, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, uh, is everything okay? Honey, you gotta make me a baby. Mom. All my friends have grandkids, Benny. Everyone in book club is passing out photos like it's 9-11. That, that is such a weird analogy to use. Yeah, but just give me a little grandbaby, honey. I know it's scary. I know it is. Okay. Okay. okay, love you. Did you not tell her? No, I mean... No, you didn't tell her? No, I did, I... I you um, told me a year ago when I told my parents, you said that you told her. Look, you know my mom is crazy, right? You know that, okay? And if I had told her what happened... So you lied. I didn't lie, I just... My mom gives me so much anxiety about m my life and my job and, and you. What about me? Just, why does she give you anxiety about me? You know, because you're older. I'm older? Well, I mean... Older. Well... What the... Well, I think she should say it. I'm not saying it. Well, I'm not saying it. Does it even need to be said, or is it just kind of a thing? Yes, like, you should just say sorry. Why? Well, you should say sorry to me. What would I say sorry for? For calling me a liar. You lied. You know what? I did whatever I did, I did for you. Oh, oh so, my God. What are we in a Brian Adams song? Oh my, that is so, you can't even talk to someone okay. when they're just Can I like, give you a piece of advice? Yeah, I mean, that's what, you're, that, that that's like what, what, why we're here. You're both clearly in a lot of pain. Um, your frustrations with your own lives, your careers, your frustrations with each other. And though these issues may seem trivial, they need to be addressed. Because, oddly, they may be the gateway to processing your grief. What I'm looking for is a way to address these things without the two of you getting into the same fight over and over again. Okay, well, time's up, and um, I'm moving to Canada. <laughs> I mean, can we thank 
your godmother for coming to thank you. Yeah, that's close. Gonna get. That was close. We're gonna get. Happy right, birthday, Theo. Happy. <laughs> Cute. How are you doing? <laughs> yep. I'm good. On a scale of one to Snoop Lion, how high are you right now? Um, like a hundred. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Well, even in that state, I'm very happy that you could be here. Only in this state could I be here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, she wanted a music party for the children, you know, so the children could play music. It's really nice. Yeah, no, it's great. It's good for them to express themselves. So, yeah. Yeah, no, he's a best friend. You guys seem really connected. <laughs> you know, but if the whole thing becomes a little much for you. Why don't we come up with a safe word? Okay. Cup of noodles. Is that a request oh, or is that computer the computer planet? How about something less like a creepy robot? Just use like a, a word. Okay. That's like would a make sense human party. Word. Okay. Like a pizza. 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 And this is our daughter Isis. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, it's um. It, it, the, she was named after the Egyptian goddess of magic. It yeah, was before, before the celibate international jihadi terror. But I didn't hear you guys wrong. Her name is Isis. Yeah, Isis Ellen Greenberg. Isis Ellen Greenberg. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> First Jew in Isis. There's absolutely no way that I am having another baby. Meanwhile, Candace is on baby number three. I know, look at her. She like loves motherhood so much she should fucking marry it. <laughs> Congratulations on your TV show. Thank you. Pretty psyched about it. I wasn't really looking to run a show, and it just kind of happened. And it's yeah. really cool. <sighs> you hungry? Do you want the milks? Yeah? The milks? And you want the milks? Oh, yeah, you do. Look at you reaching for it. OK. This guy is just dry as a oh. desert today. Oh, my god. <sighs> it was just nice getting paid doing something you love for the living, you know? It's great. <laughs> I just saw Ben. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are so cute. Thanks. When are you guys gonna make one of these things? What was the word? I forgot the word. Pizza. 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 Yeah. Pizza? I heard the pizza guy just came, so oh, we're just gonna go okay. grab the pizza. Cool. Okay. Come. So crazy. She just like took her boob out. Right there. It's fucked up, because like I'm not supposed to think about your friend's boobs, but now everyone's got kids and they're breastfeeding. It's like so culty. Hello, how you doing? I'm Ann's friend's boob. Nice to meet you. You okay? Mm-hmm. Because like I I really didn't see much of her boob. That's what making you upset. I mean, it was big, but it was not, you know, it had clearly been ravaged. <sighs> I knew we shouldn't have come. Well, I'm so, I, like, I have to come to these things. Like, what am I going to do? She's my best friend. Like, I can't just not come to my godson's first birthday party, because I... I just, it always makes me think, like, were we crazy? Because look at us. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, we have shitty jobs to pay the rent. Because that's what you do when you're an adult, and it's shitty. I had a book deal. I know. I was the star of, of my class. Yeah. And Candace was a shit writer in college. Don't I mean, she yourself. was a fucking joke. Well, now Candace, with the boobs, is a showrunner. She's being paid to do something she loves. That's more than you could say about me or you. You are an artist. Well, art, you, <laughs> Anna. Like, you know what I've come to realize? Too. Art is bullshit. That's what I've. That's what I. That's my big takeaway. Can I have a lighter? Art piece? is bullshit. Art is bullshit. Wow, that's a. 
choice philosophy. You know who else thought art was bullshit? Hitler. Why does it always have to come back to because the Holocaust? Because we should never but forget. We will never forget. Trust no, me, we, we will, will never, never forget. forget no, we won't. Because I bring it up to remind us. All the time. Really? One second. Did we open a window or something? actually have a lot of good instruments here. I can't find a bass, though. Well, yeah, no kid wants to grow up to play bass. They just end up playing bass. Why? Because it's like... I play bass. Look at this cool little kid guitar. That sounds pretty good. One, two, three, four. Did she just count us in? Mm -hmm. Who is that? I don't know. I think it's Isis. What is it? Her name is Isis. She's a real firecracker. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, 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 I. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We can fly. Bye, 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 bye. You're thinking you got your first groupie. Yeah. Try, we might. Try, 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 try. Line, line, line. Now bridge. Okay. Uh, I am fine. Day and night. We find the fight. Oh shit. I gotta get tambo on it. You gotta stop cursing in front of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Really good job. Really good job. Me too, up high. Really good job. I think we go from here. I don't know. I think I thought that having a kid would just like fix everything. create something with some kind of meaning you know like I just want to find fucking meaning in something well I don't know what to tell you it feels like we're both just stuck and that leads to anger and then that leads to fire yeah I know. I know. And then we just fight all oh, the so fucking much. time. It's such a bummer. Yesterday was good. It was, yeah. I felt oh. kind of bad that we, um, Stole that kid's we hijacked under. that kid's party. Yeah, that will fuck him up for a long time. Well, at least we weren't fighting. <laughs> it was fun singing there, though. Huh. What if we turned all our fights into songs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Let's start a band.
so many yarmulkes from our wedding. I know. Did anyone even wear a yarmulke? Everyone wore a yarmulke. There's so many left over. What is this? Oh, that's my Armageddon suitcase. Oh, yeah, big time. There's a lot in there. There's a couple bottles of Xanax. There's $1,000 hard cash. And then, yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond coupons for days. I love that in your mind, the zombie apocalypse still focuses around Bed Bath. Yeah, that's the epicenter. A and we're going to need to get 20% off. No, but, oh, my god, you're so literal. You're not using those coupons. You're, like, using them as, like, currency, you know, to, like, barter. You trade for, like, weapons, right. yeah, Brita filters, really body pillows, whatever. Whatever you need. Hey, 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 look what I found. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, I have not played this since high school. She pretty. Yeah, she fine. <laughs> Check her out. Uh... <laughs> I don't want you to hurt your neck. Sounds great, neighbor. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. Is that John Mayer over there? Hi, no, John. I just, I just found my old guitar from yeah. high school. Are you John Mayer? <laughs> right, yeah. Second time Second charm. Second time, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? We're um, cleaning out the garage to make it a rehearsal space for starting a band. <laughs> for a band? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to play drums in high school. Cool. Oh, yeah. Really? I was in a band myself. Oh, yeah? What was it called? The band was called Myself. It was a sort of solo percussive group. You know, djembe, marimba, uh -huh. conga, bongo, uh -huh. timbale, you uh -huh. know, just like, yeah. And you played all of those yourself? I played all of them myself. Wow. Yeah. The Big Fork Daily called it really very weird. Oh, wow. that's great. Yeah, congrats, well, yeah, that. That congratulations. Great. Okay. Cool, Dave. Well, we'll see you. Yeah. See you around the name. Thanks, Dave. We'll see you very soon. Okay, so we have to move. We can't. I know. We have to move. I've... That interaction alone is oh, enough. Oh, he's 100% gonna murder us. <laughs> hey, Rob. All right, so here it is. Here's the lowdown. She was good from far, but far from good. Yes. Ah, oh, she's a little curvy for my taste, but she still fucked like a champ. The only... The only... <laughs> no, I definitely could have used some Instagram filters in between the sheets. That's such a good idea, though. Restaurants with the lighting as Instagram filters. So you can just say, like, oh, I'll meet you Valencia at 8, and then we'll have drinks afterwards at Hudson. Oh, uh, yeah, that may be a little saturated, but... <laughs> <laughs> Were you gonna? Was I gonna what? I thought because you're standing there, you were gonna open the. Oh, get the door. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I don't do that. Yeah. Would have been a nice gesture. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do before that? Before you're an Uber driver, what did you do? Uh, I was a writer. Oh, crazy. I'm single. Hmm. I'm single. That's crazy. Hi. Hey. How was work? Was good. Somebody left their iPad in the back seat. Score. You gonna return it? Um, well, I couldn't really get in it. It's password protected, but 
I don't know. I was thinking maybe you could keep it, walk around with it, and make it look like you have a job. Oh my god, this fucking drip. I have a job. Yeah, no, I know. I just meant one where, you know, you might have to wear pants. Fair enough. Hey, did you finish your logo? Yeah, all done. Really? Hmm. And I was thinking maybe to celebrate. Oh, do, do, do you want to? Fuck? No. No, I was thinking we ordered Papa John's, maybe jam out, jam in the hologram style. Oh, OK, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, I'm really, 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 really. The sensation yeah. I get from sex and the sensation I get from eating pizza, it's like interchangeable for me at this point. Wow, OK. OK. Let's just, can we just take the pressure off a little bit? Have some ranch. Ooh, 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 that's a sweet bite. That's the Tom Petty bite. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to say, what if we take the pressure off of not having to write a fight song mm -hmm. and just do, like, whatever. Whatever okay. comes to mind. Let's start with just, like, <laughs> two chords. Okay. Just playing two chords back okay. and forth. Okay. And then you can kind of... Oh, wow, he's really done it. Figure out the yeah. melody, okay. okay? All right. Sure. Try that. Kind of like some do off action. Okay, do off it. I like that rhythm. Night's creeping in. I'm feeling low. Done two bars. Yeah, we're in deep. Mm. A rumble in my belly, my throat is parched. Parched. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I got one. I'm searching for the light in the endless dark. I think we have to change it. Is it feeling repetitive? A little bit. <laughs> okay. We each song Let's do it. Let's do like a. So I would go to this. Like Simon maybe Garfunkel? Like a, almost a, like a solo Simon, too, I was feeling. Yeah, totally. Like the Rhythm of the Saints, like. Uh huh. And this is working great for me. I'm so shocked that the guy from Blues Traveler never did this. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is this? This is so fun. Okay, let's make a list of our top 10 fights of all time. Of all time? Why is that? That's not good? Just, top 12? Top 12? That's only two more. I don't know. I don't let's, know. let's start with we'll start, we'll start with 12. Top 12 fights. All time. OK. Dishes is big, obviously. That is big. That's a big one. You seem to have like a, a general uh, problem with like my grooming. Yeah, for sure. That's, That's spot on. An issue. Yeah. And I feel like grooming and dishes can kind of go together. So okay. it's maybe just like a cleanliness thing. OK. Um, I, I, I don't want to point any fingers here, yeah. but I think you can be a little judgmental. Okay, okay, sure. I can see that. I'll, I will see you're judgmental, and I will raise you a you being lazy. Okay, you're uptight. You're distracted. Sure. Yeah, you know, um, you, you have emotions coming out of your ass. You have no emotions, ever. 
Okay, you're obsessed with the way you look. Right. And you're constantly asking me how you look. It's, it's super annoying. Right. Well, a lot of that has to do with the fact that you just like never give me a compliment. I give you compliments all the time. Whenever you give me compliments, it's only when I ask for a compliment. And even then, it's like you do that thing where it's like something happens where you go away for like 30 to 45 seconds, then you come back and you're like, oh, you look good. That's a compliment. And where's my sneakers? That's a compliment. And have you seen those sneakers? No, you didn't even look. You know, if we're living in this post-feminist society where I have to do the dishes and you don't have to blow me, like, ever, I would say it's probably pretty fair that you would start giving me more compliments. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm serious. Sure, yeah. I would love to feel complimented. Okay, you're a regular Gloria Steinem. I am. I'm Gary Steinem. Oh. I'm fighting the fight for man's rights. Very good. Oh. <laughs> That is a drum roll. Who cares? Fine. Shit. Yeah. You know what we need? A drummer. I don't know if he's home. I'm sure he's just like tending to the women he keeps in his basement. You don't think he keeps them in the walls? No, it's definitely more of like a lotion in the basket vibe to me. Hi. Hey. hey. Hey, hey, neighbors, what are you doing? Um, if it's, a, if it's a bad time, we can come back. Yeah. What? No. Don't be a couple of billy goats. Come on in. Okay. Don't want to be a billy goat. Have a seat. Wow, it's... You can sit on the left, and then you can sit on the right. That's okay, so... Very specific. Yeah. Okay. It's very cozy in here. Mm -hmm. Such an honor to have you in my home. Yeah, it's, n it's nice to be here. <laughs> Do you want anything? Do you want some cocoa? I'm I would okay. take a cocoa, okay. sure. Cassandra Diabla, cocos, please. We have guests. Extra cocos. Hi. <laughs> this is my best friend, Cassandra Diabla. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi. Hi, Cassandra Diabla. Tonight's cocoa night. Careful. A little ouchy. How can I be of service to the both of you? I mean, is there something you want? David. We're out of cocoa. What? Yeah. We're out of cocoa? Totally out. There's none left? There's no more. You're kidding me. You have mine. I insist. No. Otherwise, Cocoa Tuesdays will have to be called No Cocoa Tuesdays. You know what I mean? <laughs> I do. This is my best friend. Hi. Crystal Vichyswas. Hi. Your friends are so nice. Thank you very much. Are you here of your own will? That's a joke. You don't have to answer that. What was the joke? Mm, no. It nothing. was just something rude that she said because she got nervous. I was and joking. It's just a joke. Am I here on my own free will? Oh. Oh, so she looked at you and she's like, Are you here on your own free will? That's what she said, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a Paula Poundstone. Yes, yeah. Very much so. I do so. get that a lot. Very much so. Yeah. We actually met at a Todd Rundgren event. Mm -hmm. A Todd Rundgren mm -hmm. event? Yes. Okay. We had, there was a, it was a, uh, Record release party. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've seen your faces. No, we met at a Coco convention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one is very clearly a joke. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it though? Um, yeah, she gets her sense of humor from her great uncle Avram. Yeah. He was a star in the Yiddish vaudeville circuit. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was a star in the Yiddish vaudeville circuit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, he toured the Ukraine after escaping the pogroms. Ah, uh, okay. So, how did you guys actually meet? We met in the program. program. The program. Well, SAA. We're recovering sex addicts. I okay. think we should probably go, because my And I'm their sponsor, mm -hmm. and also their best friend. And that, they're my best friends. That's very sweet. I know this is going to seem crazy. Mm -hmm. We were strippers. What? We don't say. No. Yeah. yeah, she was, and then she was. Yeah. Also, we love to fuck. Dave, you should join our band. So Vichy Swa, is that how you say Vichy Swas? Vichy Swas. Vichy Swas. That's what she said. OK. Soup is made of blended potatoes and a heavy cream. Wow. That sounds amazing. Wow. So Weird Dave is in your band? Weird Dave's in the band. Wow. Yeah, I know. But you know, the truth is, we needed a drummer. And his only time commitment seemed to be Coco Tuesdays and sex addict meetings. Oh, oh, 
sweet schedule, weird day. <laughs> yeah, Dave's got it like figured out. Yeah, he's not making mistakes at all. No. At all. At all. Great. What? what? Single Sheena, single Sheena. <gasps> She's the last one of us left. I know. It's such a rare occurrence. Ooh. Like, it feels so. Hi. 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 Oh my God, you look so pretty. Oh, gorgeous. What's happening? Flawless. Are you like going somewhere? Are you coming from oh, somewhere? Oh no, I'm just headed home. Spent the night at some guy's house. Oh, there it is. Um, I love to hear details, about that. details, not yes, just a magazine, please. honey. Um, I don't know. I mean, he was super hot. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has like a ton of money. I'm just gonna go around. Yeah. Yeah. And went down here for like an hour. So that was fun. <laughs> That's long a whole time. episode of Scandal. <laughs> a I mean, long time. Yeah. So I don't know. I might see him again. Might not. But yeah. anyways, I gotta run. Gotta shower okay. before I teach. Good to see you though. Sure. Bye. She is a teacher. Let's teach us Pilates. Okay. All right. Hour. One hour. That is gonna get me through sex with my husband for like a good week. I'm riled week. up. I'm riled up. At least Niagara Falls down It's like there. a burning, burning yeah, fire. Yeah, I need to like air that out now. Woo! Babe? Yeah. Hey. What's up, Boomer? I was thinking, do you want to... You know what I mean? Right now? Yeah. You wanna fuck? Yeah, fuck. You wanna fuck? Oh, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I feel it. Oh, you just you weren't even going. No, I just like to sit on the toilet and let my butt will be free. Makes me more productive. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, um, what if we, like, can we do just, like, a reposition for, or, like... A reposition? Just, like, get, like, that angle a little bit. Your face, the face, you're, can you just, like, not make that face? I'm sorry. Okay, it's no, just, no, like, no. it looks like you're in pain. I'm not in pain. I'm just trying to figure... I'm trying to figure it out. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I was just, like, I was so horny before, and then suddenly it's, <sighs> like... I don't know, it's like the, the fucking like shop just like closed. The shop closed? Yeah, like the doors locked, gates down, like the whole situation. I don't know how to contact the shopkeeper. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It might be a situation where like, it's like there's a sign on the door and they're like back in five. This analogy is super long. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry. Do you want me to give you a hand job? What? No. I didn't even want to have sex in the first place. I only did because you wanted to. Right, I know. Marriage is a sacred bond. I am so fond. Friendship can the ties that are fine. Your loving, caring, always kind. When we lay in bed at night, our bodies bathed in the moonlight. To have to hold forever. Dave. Unreal. I loved it. Wow. Okay, 
great. Thank you. Cool. That was very beautiful. Beginning <laughs> to end. Thanks. You know, I can't relate to the lyrics at all. Right. On account of the fact that I want to fuck everything and everybody. Yeah. Right. That's so the saying. addiction. I mean, except, of course, Crystal and Cassandra. You never want to fuck them. No. No. Never. Mm. But that's a love song for the ages. Bravo. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Thank you so much, man. Uh, I'm going to go and eat. OK. OK. <laughs> that sounds human. And uh, I'll see you very soon. All right. All right. Take Thanks. it easy, man. Thanks. We'll see you next uh, rehearsal, OK? OK. Man, I like writing songs with you. I like writing songs with you. Oh, we've never done it in the garage. I know, it's so hot. Let's do it in more weird places. It's not that weird, we own this. <laughs> Shit. I don't feel so fucking good. No, no, I'm stuck in a rat trap. What? My foot is stuck in like one of the glue a traps in our mouth. Yeah. It's okay. Push through. Just fuck it. Okay. Please keep fucking me. It feels so fucking good. Oh my god. Oh fuck. My foot is going oh. numb. Oh my god, no, no, no. The whole left side of my body is going numb. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm coming. Buy the kale. Mm -hmm. Kale sits in our fridge for a week. Mm -hmm. we throw out the kale, mm -hmm. and then we buy that kale again. It's all very exciting. It's a real. It's the kale diaries. Ooh. Look, oh, our people. You think they're Jews? No, I just mean like musicians. Should we go over there? You want to get into a drum circle? I don't know. By the we should market? get inspired. Okay. They look friendly. Yeah, all drum circles look friendly. That's how people end up in them. Hi. Hi, what's up? Nice jam. Welcome. Hi. Would you like to take part in some of our love light today? We were just talking about um, what? No, we lover's weren't. light. Yes, we were. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Join us. Okay. Okay, you guys will pick up the words in no time. Okay. Okay. language was that? Yeah, was that Sanskrit? No, I devised that language myself. Uh, it's called Tuna Tuna, while I was uh, studying abroad. Tuna Tuna? Tuna Tuna is the name of the language that, that you devised. In in India, or? No, no close. Barstow Community College. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he was just, Jesus. what do you, what never, do you want me to do? I have seen you like that. I mean, I got hot and hot over there. Yeah, I was bothered. <laughs> I know. You were less hot. Wait, oh my god. Look, it's a sign. Like from the universe is a sign? Well, I was like saying a... it is, it's also a literal sign, but it is, that's a sign. Should we play that show? OK. OK. Here goes nothing. You ready for it? Am I ready for it? Yeah. I can't believe you're asking me that. Since when have you been afraid of doing mushrooms? I'm not afraid of doing mushrooms. I've just, I've never done them with like a task at hand. I mean, I just think it's gonna help us with like our creative process. Yeah, you think so? We gotta get some songs out. Okay. Okay, ready? Well, I am. Ugh. Terrible. They're mellow, though. These oh, ones are mellow. Good. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got an idea. Where's my notebook? What? I have a song idea. I want to write it down. Okay. Hurry up. I don't want it to okay, pop out okay, of my head. Okay. I'm losing the melody. There. Here's your notebook. It's just so crazy how the birds just like love my chips. Get right up next to them. They whisper. Yeah. And I, I love, I also love chips. But I never just go eat the chips, and that's what—that's why I love you, birds, because you just go whenever you want it, and you get it. I just wrote the most beautiful song. first line. I didn't write it. I know, but we came up with it together. You came up with it. <sighs> it I don't know the lyrics. I remember, it was about something like the dog, like a dog. Maybe he wrote it down somewhere. Oh, yeah, he did. He, he actually did. He recorded it telepathically onto a sandwich. The lyrics are in my ate. blood. No, the drugs are in your blood. The lyrics are like. You wanted to take drugs. Oh my God, that's so classic to turn this around on me. I'm turning around, you turning yeah. around on me. You wanted to take drugs, it didn't work out, now you're acting like it a bitch. It didn't work out. Did you just call me a bitch? No, I said you're acting like a bitch. What kind of man calls their wife a bitch? Why do you have to question my manhood? Because and what kind so, of man calls a woman a bitch? You call me a dick all the time. Why can't I call oh you a bitch? Oh, my God. That's so lame. What is, why is that lame? <sighs> um, I'm going to go for now. No. No. Dave, just, just sit, down sit down for a second. Please, just give us one minute. But why don't I give you some privacy? Yes, and I can... We don't need any privacy. This is not a private matter. No, you leave. This gets real. So let's just, we're going to just push through. Can I get some air? No, you can't air. get air when there's We're open air garage. everywhere. What more air do you need? Ugh. Great, I'll just. Dave, please. Just Why? Give us a second, we cause... need to finish this for one second. Why? Because I'm being held hostage, so I'm just gonna play. Dave, come on, That's man. So annoying. Just, just play something, man. I'm not stopping. Play a song. I'm in Nova for your mood! I'm in Nova for your mood! I'm in Nova for your mood! So change your attitude! This is what it means to be a dude! That you can ever be so rude! You're fucking lazy and you're crude! We owe you a big thank you, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big ups to Dave. Big ups to Dave. <laughs> Bless up, Dave. All right. Let's do this open mic, dogs. Hey, we got to leave in like seven minutes. I know. I'm hustling. I just got to. OK. What? 
Is that good? No, it's great. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You don't look too bad yourself. <laughs> you think though it's too like heteronormative? Hmm? It's so like gendered. It's like, should we swap outfits? God no. Especially like in this day and age, you don't want to be like, oh, I like don't wear a dress. Oh, don't make me wear a dress tonight, please. Okay. Do you think but, it's too on the nose that we're making Dave dress like a baby? I don't think that's the problem. Oh. No, I think that like drives it home. It's very. I think it's subtle. Okay, it's go time. Do you have everything? Yeah, I have picks and wallet, wallet and keys. Okay. Coming, Dave. Hey, buddy. What? Where's your onesie? I thought you were Dave the baby drummer. I'm turning over my sticks. <laughs> what? What is this? I can't make it to the open mic tonight, or really any night. I have to quit the band. Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I thought it'd be really great to get to know you guys and for you guys to get to know me. You wouldn't think this, but aside from Crystal and Cassandra, I don't have too many friends. Right. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's surprising. When my parents got divorced, it was really hard on me as a kid. And I think that's where my sexual addiction started. Mm. OK. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm reliving it day after day. You can't stop fighting. I mean, I spent my whole childhood trying to save my parents' marriage. I don't want to spend my adulthood trying to save yours. I'm really sorry. I, I can't do the show. I'm, I'm sorry. It's going to be a great show anyway. Is this for real? Dave, these are your sticks. <laughs> We can't do this. Oh, Tiger. Ugh. Slow down. Ah, oh, shit. Grace gave me, like, some sort of muscle relaxants, but I don't feel them at all. Like, they are not working. Muscle What are you doing taking muscle relaxants? I don't know. You barely have any muscles. They need, I need it to calm down. Look, this is just you and me in our garage, jamming. <sighs> no difference. I mean, yeah, it's a room full of young, judgmental 20-somethings staring at our every breath, but besides that, it's the same thing. <clears throat> Looks like you two are up. OK, great. So I am. Oh my god, I'm going to hurl. No hurling. No hurling. Come Hold on. on. Let's just go up there and show <sighs> these young fucking dickheads what we're made of. <sighs> OK. All right, hi. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hold on, I gotta adjust my microphone. She's adjusting her mic, sorry. Oh. I, can't, I gotta adjust it. What is the problem with you? What's happening? Hold on, I, I think I just want it out of the stand. You can't I, have it out of the yeah, stand. How can you play to, with having it out of the stand? You need to be able to move. You're a bass player, you don't need to move. Hold that. Does it uh, hurt? Yes, it hurts. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, just oh. put it back on. Okay, the but hold on. But look at, I wanna do one trick. Can you look at the audience? Trick. Look at the audience for one sec. Watch, watch. Bolt. Bolt. What are you doing? Bolt. 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 It was just the mic. It was like the balls were on your forehead, but it was the mic. Are you ready? Go ahead. Are you ready to play? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. All right, sorry about that. One, two, one, two. Oh. 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 Do you want to play the song? Huh? Oh, oh. Ow. Embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you. You should be proud. That's like what every husband wishes their wife could do. Oh my god. Who are you winking that at? Was a, <laughs> that was a dick sex joke, guys. <laughs> but it's actually not a. If you want to be honest, it's not a talent of mine because I have severe TMJ. I wouldn't stress about it. It was just a minor setback. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Just the second I decide 
to commit to something I'm passionate about, I always seem to just fuck it up. Can you do me a favor and can we not talk about your failed book deal while we're dealing with stuff about us? What? Can you not talk about your failed book deal when we're dealing with stuff what are you that's about, about? I didn't us? Mention my book deal. Come on, that's where you always Jesus. go. It what doesn't seem so like an outlandish about? request. It just seems like something where is totally this normal. From? It's not coming from anywhere. I just don't want to talk about yeah, the fucking book deal. I got it. Deal. You already fucking said that. Jesus. Fucking aggro man. You know Mr. Agro, fucking we don't, we don't, in. just we ruining don't, relationships. We don't have to do this like this anymore. Do what? What? Do what? Fight like this. If we're gonna fight, why don't we sing our feelings? I'm not. I'm not singing. I'm why? Sorry. Don't patronize no, it. I it's just, can't. just. We know what happens when we have a regular fight. We've done this. I'm not, I'm not doing that, though. Sorry. Please don't bring up the book deal. Oh, God. You know, this isn't about the book deal. Really? Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's clearly the cross. I'm not, I don't hear anything so unless you paralyzed. sing it. You have to sing this it. This is so stupid, dude. I'm not singing. You hang on to that fucking book deal for dear life. And you and I both know that that is not the thing that is paralyzing you. Really? Okay, well, that was my fault too, so. Sing it. I'm not singing about that, Ben. I don't even wanna talk I about it. I don't wanna it. talk about it either. You had a miscarriage that does not make you a failure. Does it make me a success? Sing. I, Sing I'm about your miscarriage. Is this a joke to you? This is Please. the furthest thing I, from a joke to me. I, it's the one thing that we don't talk about. And so I don't know how else to... Do. I failed as a woman. What happened is totally human. <laughs> well, let's see this through. Okay? <laughs> you're out of your own way when you're up there. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting for me to watch you. It's exciting for you to do. We have something to share. We're doing it together. No, I know I like that. So, it's a small hiccup. We go, we fuck up. We turn it again. We learn. You know, but I don't like that. The middle part. The it's all part of the fuck process. Up. It's part of the process. I know, but it's just that failing makes you a failure. I don't think so. Failing makes you an artist. Dave. Hi, guys. Look, we heard everything you said the other night. Yeah, and we're, we're gonna change, we promise. We need you in our band. No more fighting? No more fighting. Except in our songs. Which are all fights. To avoid really fighting. Yeah. Do I still have to dress like a baby? No. 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 In fact, I actually, I don't think this look works. Yeah. You like this? I love this. Yeah. I don't know what, where it came from, or but it's, it's great. It's just my cozies. Like. So They're like your, interesting. like pajamas. Yeah, that's very interesting. Very interesting. Thanks. Well, we're into the gig if you guys are. <laughs> so are we. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, what is the board? It's just. I think it's just a celebration. Okay, cool. All right. One more thing. Yeah. We're gonna be a real band. We need a band name. Hi, 
Hi, we're the Dirty Dishes. One, two, three, four. I would not tell you My jacket. I love it. I got it at Party City. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't have clothing. Right. So listen, um, I talked to Crystal Vicious was. Yeah. And she had a pretty rough night. Oh. She acted out. She ended up having compulsive sex with this 37-year-old. Oh no. Is his age the problem, or it's no? It's, it's a the, compulsion. It's the... She can't help it. Right. She can't help it. Right. Yeah. She relapsed. I mean, I didn't even know what they see in her. You know, I mean, she's so unappealing. You know, in the face and the body and everything. It must be a sense of humor. Anyway, this guy works for a record label. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And she brought him to the show last night. Shut up. That's awesome. <laughs> Are you being for real? Yeah, and he really liked it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he was really into it. Dave, that's, that's insane. Awesome. <laughs> you look fucking hot. What? Yeah. Whoa. Like, if I didn't know you, I'd, I'd want to get to know you. Who are you? Like, how are we going to keep writing fight songs if we never fight about anything anymore? Well, we could write love songs. Yeah, just no, let's get weird. that part. Yeah, as soon as I said it, I yeah. think it was a bad idea. Yeah. Can we just, like, I feel like we got to get, just for our, our creative process, just can you be, like, a little bit more of a dick to me this morning? Okay, you want me to leave the room and come back as a dickhead? Yeah. Yep, okay. Okay, you ready? You, you're going to go on your own action. Coming in hot. Okay. You seen my sneakers? What do you think? About what? My sneakers? I can't find them. Do you like my outfit? Is this the only option? Wow. That's like Brando or Was something. That That's good? fucking insane we're in that a you fight can now, go. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, we're certainly in a fight. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love you. Me too. <laughs> oh my God. How long has it been since we've had a date night? I don't know. Never. Also, I can't believe that this label dude is interested in us. Hold on. Being interested in something is different than being, you know, 
committed to something. I know, but it's just it's so exciting. Like, things are finally happening for us. To us. Hey, maybe let's celebrate a different way. I don't know, I just feel like being present for this right now. Yeah. No, I, I, I want to be present too. I don't, we don't need to yeah. some hope to celebrate. How's your day going? you like this. I don't know. <laughs> it's so awesome. I'm so happy for you. you. It's amazing. Okay. I guess everything. Oh, babe, could you just grab these spoons for dessert? What? The dessert spoons, honey? Right. Yeah. For dessert? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Love you. So uh, what happens when they, like, go away like that? Not sure. Where do they go? I don't know, but sometimes I wish you would just stay there longer. Yes. You know, give me a break too. Um, I feel bad. You, Tell me no, what else no, to no, do. No, no, no. Just go sit down. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Please, please go sit down. It's like a, you know, bigger conversation. Okay. I'm, I just thought, yeah, yeah. what are we, it's just, what are we waiting for at this point? You're the one that didn't want to. I know, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that now I feel like ready, finally. And, you know, like I feel happy for the first time in so long. You feel happy. Look at what's happening for us, like, we could get a record deal, you know? Uh, it's awesome. <laughs> what? We're not getting a record deal. You don't know that? Oh, shit. What? What? I knew it. I knew exactly how this was going to go. Because I know the way that you looked at everything. What's wrong with the way I looked at everything? Like it's some fucking life well, raft. What, what we're doing is finally making us happy. I've always been happy. Oh, You've been in some, man. like, dark depression. You've always been happy? Give me a fucking break. You, you, you were so checked out for so long. You are, like, you lie? You fucking, is that happy? 
You think you're like a piece of fucking cake. I don't want to do this. You know what it's been like since... I mean, since we lost the baby, you've been a mess. And I just keep putting up with it because... I, I don't know, I hope one day the old you will come back. The old me, Ben? The old me was like young and naive. The old you was happy. I am happy. You're weeping. I'm fucking heartbroken. Am I not allowed to have feelings? It's just, it's too... It's crazy. What? What is crazy? Fuck. Don't fucking walk away from me in the middle of a fucking talk. What is so crazy? How, how, how do you decide which feeling you're gonna go with when they're they're so close together, so all these feelings, that it must be really you know what, difficult ben? to decide, Maybe no, this is what I'm feeling I'm right now. I'm having feelings for the both of us, since you don't seem to have any. Like, where are you? You haven't cried once since our miscarriage. You haven't fucking felt anything with me. I know how to handle my feelings. Oh, you mean like just bury them and let them fester? It's called being realistic. Realistic? You, you just live in this fucking state of denial. So yeah, okay, maybe that's realistic for you, but to the rest of the world, it just looks like you're constantly refusing to deal. No, it looks like there goes a person who knows how to be appropriate with their emotions. Not what you've become, which is some like, honestly, Sad, sniveling, whining excuse for a woman. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. This, this, this is why I didn't want to tell you tonight. Because I knew that it would be the end. The end of what? The end of your freedom. Because for the last... I don't know how long you've, you, you've seen free to me for the first I time do, in a long I time. I feel that too. That's such I bullshit. Feel free. That is bullshit, bullshit, Anna. Because you think this is about a record deal? Did you really think we were going to get a record deal? This is about you and me. I know. Do you? Because all that I see from here is someone who has been walking a tightrope. And I've never seen a tightrope walker more excited to fall. It makes no sense to I me. I can feel myself changing, oh, Ben. That is so I know crazy that for about you to myself. say. It's like you hate change. Every time someone brings up change, you shut oh, down. Please, that's classic coming from the guy who's sitting in his fucking underwear all day, just creating corporate bullshit for a paycheck. Like, where's the old you? Where's the fucking old you who, who used to make shit? That meant something. I am trying. I am Define trying. trying. I mean, you can't keep a job for more than three months. People don't get oh, me. Oh, please, Ben. This, like, emo teenager shit is so fucking tired. You know what? I think the thing is, everyone gets you, and that's the fucking problem. Anna, you're an Uber driver. You're an Uber driver with a failed book deal. Fucking losers. I don't know if you think there's like some kind of magical thing that's gonna come and change that for you, but this is it. This is fucking it. If we had been able to have that don't. baby. Don't. If we had had that baby. Not having that baby was a blessing. I want you to leave. And don't fucking come back. Dave? 
Hey. You think I could spend the night here? Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. Hello. Hi. This is called snuggle therapy. The human touch is very healing. Well, thank you. Um... I used to practice snuggling with my parents in the aftermath of their divorce. Now. The patient's instinct is to fight the snuggle, and I assure you, Benjamin, a snuggle ought not be fought. Give snuggle a shot. I do. Uh, my phone is ringing, so I do have to I'll get, get it. it. No, I, it might be Anne, and I have kind of like tight pockets in these pants. I'm just gonna give up. <sighs> Hi, mom. Okay, all right, I'll be over in a bit. Mother love is the deepest love of all, isn't it? Yeah. I know I'm not perfect, but she's like, she's moody, demanding, obsessive, hypercritical. Sounds about right. Yeah. About a year ago, we had a miscarriage. What? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I don't know. I feel like it's just, maybe we're just too broken to fix. You know, I had two miscarriages before you were born. No, I did not know that. Yeah. It was horrible. Really bad. I mean, I thought I was never going to be able to have kids and... Oh. And then, of course, you know, the second your dad and I stopped trying, we had you. Well, how did you guys get through it? We fought. We fought like crazy, like cats and dogs, for years. Couples fight, what can I tell you? You guys have been together for so long, it's almost impossible not to. No, but we like really fight. Yeah. And about dumb shit. It's exhausting. Yeah, I know. You know what? 
let me give you a little bit of advice about women, all right? And I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so hormonally, we are just completely different creatures. Might as well be completely different species. You see us as overly emotional, and that's true. We're constantly juggling a lot of feelings and anxieties. We have difficulty separating ourselves from our problems. Do you understand? Like, like we're constantly looking for the connective tissue to find a solution. We obsess. We search for emotional cues so that we could figure out the meaning behind the unspoken. It's not pretty in there. Problem is we expect you to be the same. Now you, you could take pleasure in simple things, right? A basketball game, a video game, really games of any kind. That's true. And this ability to have these simple pleasures it allows you to compartmentalize your feelings in a very different way. You could do what women only dream of doing. You could shut your mind off. Mm. And when your minds are turned off, you forget to do things, right? You forget to do the dishes. You forget to answer a question when we ask it. Anna calls it the 30 second delay. Uh-huh. And then we come at you harder and stronger because we want your respect and attention because we don't understand your need to shut down, your need to daydream. To us, it's lazy and selfish. Hey, that makes us so angry. Mm -hmm. I know. That's the aggression. That's the testosterone. And then we get hurt. That's the estrogen. And then we get divorced, and that's life. Not necessarily, Benny. You know, these are all things that I really wish I understood better before your father died. Couples experience loss all the time in all different ways. It's how you understand that loss, how you navigate it that makes a difference. This feels a little reductive. No, I'm making generalizations, obviously, but I'm basing them on my marriage, my clients, my friend's marriage, yours, it seems. I can't speak for the gays. Or the trans community. No, I'd only be basing that on that show on Amazon. So good. Yeah. So good. But I will say this, even though you think of us as constantly talking about our feelings, we're holding so much in. Our minds never stop, always analyzing, worrying. I think if women could get more physical and access our rage that way, a lot would change. Anna? Anna! Anna!
Uh, my name's Anna. This is a, a work in progress. Talk about it all but constant The wolf and the wolf's meal A girl she grows up with no options But to trust how her gut feels When mothers warn we should be careful We walk with our thighs pressed Our bodies learned to be fearful Every touch a dangerous Test. A boy he learns he must be stoic To earn his badge of pride To show his pain is not heroic So he keeps it bottled up inside the pressure's much too much to handle The struggle to provide But history will not dismantle The rules by which you must our lesser years packed tight with hurt and rage and tears you and I let's trace a map where we can bridge this gender gap the destination's very near we'll spend one night in the town of fear then drive past guilt regret and shame to a town whose only precious name is a rustling in the tree under which we'll light a fire and listen to the wind whisper desire
Okay. It's a work in progress. Writing session. Yeah. How do you write a love I song that's not like no idea the how you do that? <laughs> you know? God. Just feels so like overdone. Yeah. I have so much respect now for like baby face. I know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean I had a lot of respect for No, no, before. he's a great musician. Yeah. I'm just saying I'm like a whole new yeah, level. A whole new love, I know. I mean, the real question is, what does love mean to you?